Mastering the ability to implement memes into your videos can be a crucial way to make your edits and videos stand out. Are you serious? That's why I thought it'd be best to create a video showing you guys how to implement some of the most commonly used effects for that meme style in your videos. My name's Dan and welcome to Dan Vinci or Meme Vinci. <laughs> Okay. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Free Shabaka Doo! Oh, my dude, no! 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 Right, with all those memes out the way, let's jump into the effects. The order that I've decided to approach this video is quite simple. I'll start with the most simple effects that I use to increase engagement and then step by step move on to the more complicated ones. Now let's get started. This is a Dan Vinci video which isn't out yet and I just want to show you a small section of it. And wait. Now what I've obviously done here is just zoom in this clip in the inspector over here and I've also gone onto this clip here in the color tab and I've brought down the saturation which is this bad boy here. This guy here brings down the colors all the way to black and white. It can be a great way of highlighting something even though it's not really highlighting it, it's actually doing the opposite because it's black and white but you get my point. I understand. Then after this black and white bit we have this effect which is called colored lines in DaVinci Resolve. If you go into the top left corner in effects over here and search colored lines or just col, you know, you don't have to type the whole thing. Drag this down and you'll see you've got this colored line effect. Combine it with a beep, which is something very generic that you can find online. Just simply search beep error meme or something and it will just come up. With all these little simple effects combined, you get this. Another meme worthy effect is distortion. Here I have a clip of myself getting very angry at the camera. Oh, you can't make a clip, it's red. All will be explained once that video is brought out. This is embarrassing. Once again, go into your effects and search distortion. Make sure you're on the audio effects. You'll have something called distortion. Drag this over to your audio. Then you, what you can do here is increase the, decrease the ceiling, sorry, and bring it all the way down. And you can increase the level, for example. Then what you'll have is this. Red, I don't understand. Why why you can't make a clip, it's red! Basically what it mimics is your microphone peaking without actually having that volume aspect to it and you're not deafening your audience because that's certainly something you don't want to do. <laughs> Combined with a bit of camera shake in the effects and then in the inspector, I've just increased the speed all the way up to the max and brought up the PTR speed. It creates this real sense of urgency and aggression, which I really like. I don't understand why you can't make a clip, it's red! Also, another little touch that you could add to a scene like this is you could go into the color tab and increase the red gain and decrease the lift. Red, I don't understand why you can't make a clip, it's red! My mic literally died halfway through this video and I'm furious. So I'm refilming this section. Yay! Why do I do this to myself? I don't have to make these videos. You have no choice. Now another really cool meme effect that I use regularly is vortex and dent. These two are really nice distortion effects that you can use in Fusion to really enhance the silliness of your videos. Like this. I have huge brain. That is a huge brain. So let's go over into this clip here, go into Fusion. Then I want to search Tracker. Make sure you've got the IntelliTracker on. Go over to the eye here, then just click track. Let it do its thing. Lovely. Brilliant. There you go. Now it's got the tracking points. Then control space, search dent, for example. Then you'll have this like distortion-y black hole. Then go over to dent two. That's the one I just tend to use the most and I like the preferred look of it. Then go over to center, right click on center, go down to connect to, go to tracker one, click the top one. Boom, I look dumb. Look, big, big brain ideas. And this is an effect that I just use all the time. Obviously, you can do the same with Vortex. If you delete Dent and just search Vortex, you can then go to center, right click on it, click connect to tracker one, and it does the same dumb thing. I look lovely. Very, very handsome boy. Ah, get away! Another one is this fantastic planar tracker effect, which I actually included in my 100 effects and features video. Go into Fusion on your clip, draw space, planar tracker, draw around the thing that you want to be tracked, and in this case, my head. Then go into Inspector, make sure the motion type is set to translation. Click set on the main frame, then track it. Make sure the whole thing is tracked as well. There we go, lovely. Then go to operations. No, sorry, don't go, don't do that. Then click on stabilize. Now it'll be stabilized to the head. Then just create a transform node right here. Zoom it right in, center your head up or your object. Then when you click play, voila. Please go show that video some love. It took me so long to make, so go watch it. Otherwise I will hunt you down and I, I will, will find, find you, you and I, I will, will kill you. you. 
Another really, really cool feature, which isn't in DaVinci Resolve at all, is a site called Player Phrase. This is my little secret that I'm sure a lot of you guys see on the channel, where I cut away to a, just a random clip. I mean, this is random, right? From a film of someone saying the exact words that are relevant to the previous clip of me talking. I can assure you, Senator, this is relevant. So for example, if I search, I don't know, Dan, because my name's Dan. It's just brought up 9,758 different clips of someone saying the word Dan, which is brilliant. And then go down to the bottom left corner, click this, and you can download the video instantly and put it into your videos. Just this little secret side thing that I just wanted to show you guys. But otherwise, guys, that is the end of the video. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of me. I'm nearing the big 20K, and I will do something special for it. I am actually in the process of making a very different video that I've never, ever made before and I've never seen anyone on YouTube cover it so you definitely want to stay tuned for that because if it goes well it could be a big video for me so I'm really really looking forward to it my name's Dan you've watched Dan Vinci and I'll see you in the next one bye bye I hope you enjoyed the memes <laughs>